Welcome everyone to a, another Radical Guide at the wonderful, wonderful, absolutely my favourite track. And it's not because I live about 12 miles away from it at all. Silverstone. Absolutely adore this place. Uh, having said that, turn three and four are a complete shambles in this car. I absolutely hated them. Had a few spins. <laughs> I, I will point out my spins at various points of the track. And you'll see the lap times are really all over the place as well. Um, but yeah, I uh, really enjoyed it around here. The corners that I can get right, I, I did enjoy a lot. And uh, well, in a nutshell, let's show you the stats. Get rid of that. Why won't I go away? There we go. Info for you. Track usage 45% as always for me and track temp of a 71 Fahrenheit. Degrees will be above my head. So yeah, quite cool. If you are watching this a few uh, few months down the line, just have a check on the track temperatures. The, these could be different. Uh, hot attempts are generally slower. Cool attempts are generally faster. Lap times you can see now they are all over the place. Getting into the 53s. Uh, 53 7 53 5 then a few more spins 53 3 and then the final one i'm going to show you getting light on fuel at this point was a 153 161 so that was the best lap i could do i did i think my o lap my optimal lap was in the 52s just uh, but don't quote me on that i think there was some more time left on the table but at this point i think the tires were getting a little bit stressful well i think i was struggling with temperatures so if you do uh if you do get a telemetry file, just have a check on tyre temperatures around here. That could be one of the reasons why I was finding it particularly difficult to uh, get the power down, as you will see at the end of this track guide at the last corner. Uh, very amusing. Um, but yeah, on that note, uh, OLAP, VLAP, uh, telemetry and replay file will all be in my Discord. So uh, the link will be down by the stairs in the description. So if you do want to come along and say hello and nick them files, by all means, you are welcome. Otherwise, let's crack on with the guide. Right then, start finish straight at Silverstone. Beautiful complex on the right hand side here. And uh, yeah, we're hunting for our turning point for turn one, which is just this service road type thing, just as it starts, start bringing the car over. I changed down to fifth. I find it just gives us a bit of a punch out the corner here. You can take it in sixth, absolutely fine. Just be careful of understeering into turn two here. Turn two, just bring it to the apex. But all we're trying to do is straight line our braking at the 100 meter board or whatever yardage and we bring it to the left hand side all the way down to second gear now i was finding the radical really really clumsy around here so just be warned lots of understeer there and just get to this point before the curbing actually starts i'm standing on the brakes again i was using the first and you can see here second I'm, the car's not really responding that well it's kind of a bit dim-witted and sluggish and i'm a bit late on throttle as well so try first gear around there whatever's comfortable probably take it a little bit slower than i do as well turn five right here is absolutely flat don't even worry about it the curbs are quite smooth and things like that so use all of them as you can coming down the Wellington straight now into brooklyn's fantastic little corner of this and just before the 50 board you can see maybe two car lengths and we're braking quite heavily and then bleed off the brakes as we start turning in this is where actually where i spun so be very careful trail braking into here um loads of curb on the late eight late apex as you can uh, cut it as much as you can and it opens up this uh luffield turn seven again nice late apex and just smooth the power in don't go full throttle until you know you can get a good exit here use all of the curving down the old start finish straight this corner here don't even worry about it just try and minimize uh, steering angle and we are hunting for cops turn nine just at this point good couple of car lengths before the 50 board would break in change down into fifth loads of curve as much as we can then red sausage curbs are a little bit unsettling but don't run too far wide you get an off track and a slowdown so that's really really horrible Magazine and Beckett's now and this corner coming up here is absolutely flat we want to stay as far left as we can and then immediately turn right as that red sausage curb ends loads of curb there but again be careful the green tarmac just as we come next to that we are breaking down in the fourth gear loads of curb and i try to stay as far left as i can to open up this very last corner where we can cut the curb just a little bit don't hit the green tarmac because again it's a three second slowdown which is nuts and if you hit the grass here on the left as well i think it's like a 1.8 second slowdown which destroys your race and lap time really really harsh coming down the hangar straight now and uh, we are a beautiful corner again down here 
just before the curb and we're breaking down and I think down into fourth I was taking third at one point just found it was too high so fourth gear give those red curbs a cheeky little tickle as you go past and be very careful running wide try and avoid the green tarmac it is an off track luckily did get an off track this time round I don't know how when you see the overhead it's ridiculous uh, 100 meter board just before it we're standing on the brakes it's slightly downhill so be very careful we break and we're locking up second gear I missed the apex by a little bit but I'm focusing on this corner now. This corner is an important one to get us a good exit. You can see full power nice and early using all of the track and be very careful on this corner. I don't know why about this point it was getting very, very slippy. You can see there big snap of oversteer. Lucky the line is very, very close and I didn't lose it. So fingers crossed for that one. But yeah, that's us across the line in a 153-161. So yeah, I don't know why that last corner full throttle coming through there. It must be just the limit of grip, the radical, and we do lose the uh, back end. I did spin out, I think, twice there, particularly on cold tyres, so be very, very cautious of that. Otherwise, it's not a bad track, to be honest. Really uh, did enjoy rocking around here and uh, some of the straights and uh, are pretty good for slipstreaming and some of the high-speed corners will make uh, good racing. So fingers crossed for a good week. Otherwise, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.